All right, let's see if we're back in action. Let's see if we can do this again. Please, for the love of God, let's have audio. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to fix this. We'll make it work, though. We'll make it work. Oh, my gosh. Sorry about that. Do we have audio? Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Guys, apologize for that little hiccup of inconvenience. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good Saturday. That's what I was trying to get across. We made it. We made it. <laughs> uh, Jerry, JS, Doug, what's going on? Ariel, finally. Jerry, what's up? Finally, we got sound. Michael, Paul, Reeves, what's up, you guys? Woo! Got me a little stress. I got the little pit sweats going on. See, I'm getting, getting a little nervous there. <laughs> Lisa, Jason, what's going on? Been seeing your comments lately. What's going on, you guys? What's up? What's up? All right. I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling better. I apologize for that little minor hiccup. I got some new stream stuff going on. I got some new equipment. I got some new things. Muhammad, what's up, dude? Good morning. It would be the morning from where you're at. Uh, you guys, I'm doing good. Uh, Lisa and Jason, doing good. We need to get that mustache off the ground. That's right, my man. That's right. That's what it's all about. Hope you guys got your products, your combing devices, all that stuff ready. So that's what this show is going to be all about it's going to be about goals i got some fun stuff to review and maybe we can get a fun giveaway to you guys so let's sit back i thought we could just have a fun hour stream just relax we can chill out we got the fights tonight i don't know about you guys but i gotta watch that john jones fight going on and so i thought before that we could kind of hang out relax uh if you got some beverages or if you got some chips or something much on Come on down, you guys. If you got any questions, you got any concerns, please hit me at it. So in today's stream, what I thought would be fun to do. Now, a few days ago or about a week ago, I went to Beard Brand. Yes, that's right. I went to Beard Brand and I got to meet um, I got to meet pretty much everybody at the office there. We got to meet Eric. I got to meet, oh my God, I got to meet Jack. The, Everybody there was cool, and while I was out the door, they hooked me up with some cool stuff. So I thought I'd show you guys what I got. Paul, thanks for that. Uh, dude, I'm telling you, man, the beer's looking good, right? We're, we're, we're getting there. And as that trimmed up right down here, let me turn this music down. <clears throat> there it is. I got some beer brand bombs on the way in the mail. Dude, they are, I'm telling you, beer brand, a bunch of companies right now are on the move. And uh, like I said, I just kind of wanted to start out with some fun stuff. Your beard is my goal, Scott. That's what today's stream is. And I thought, so let's just, let's start off with some cool stuff. So not only do I have some more giveaways for you guys, um, we got some more oils from Artius Man, so we can have some fun with that. That's going to be later on in the stream. And then down the road, I think after the goals conversation, I got us a nice, gift bag like the swag bag that you'd get from beard brand uh they got some stuff in here i haven't used before i haven't seen so i don't know we're gonna dive into it we'll see a sneak peek in there i don't know we'll we'll see what's going on i know my buddy dan would be excited for what's in there so let's get started man let's get started with the goals all right and so right now my goal about two months ago was the cheek line i was like killing myself with the cheek line lately and I was going really far down on it. And so for you guys that want to have a certain look or a certain way to go about, uh, just start thinking about different ways that you can go about growing out that beard in that look that you want. So like I was saying, I was usually cutting down my cheek lines down to here. And as I was growing them out a little longer, it gets that length, it gets that girth of the beard. So if you guys have any goals or affirmations or, or tribulations you want to do for your beard, stick with it. Uh, if I win the swag bag, it's going to double as the wing bag. <laughs> That's it, Slice of Horse. That's it, man. Dude, it's all about the wing bag. Like, let's be real. The swag bag is where it's at, right? <laughs> um, so, I don't know. What are you guys What are you guys rocking right now? Who's, who's, who's doing the mustache? Who's doing the beard? Anybody going for the year or anything like that? What's, what's everybody's goal in this? You know, because we're, we're in the springtime right now, right? You know, you might be rocking a light beard or a light mustache. You know, what's what, what are people trying to do nowadays in this springtime with the heat, right? What, what are we trying to do? 
uh, the last month they could the cheek line higher. Yeah, exactly, Ariel. And that there's a guy that I have at the gym that's doing this, and he really cuts really low. And let's be real, look at this is where my cheek line or my chin ends. So I mean, you only got about an inch worth, right? You only got about an inch, maybe a month worth, and then it just blends right into the beard. So it's not too bad. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of six inches here. All right, six inches beard, about two inches. All right, 91 days into a year. Jesse, that's pretty tough, man. You know that, okay, so a side note, right? You're eight months in. Ooh, Jerry, props to you, man. That's tough. Your goals, Chris, that's it. So I went to Beard Brand and they, I was talking to Jack about that and he, we were talking about the year and how hard it is to go through some of those months, you know, because I was talking about them on their live stream that sometimes I just want to shave it all off. I don't know about you guys, but like there's some tough times, right? So when you get in those like tough situations, that's why we have friends. That's why we have like Instagram and things like that kind of pushes you through that, you know, that hard times when you're growing out your beard, you know. So that's why we can reach those, reach those goals, right? Those six inches goals. You're, you're 91 days in, dude. You know, you're halfway there, right? Three, six, nine, twelve. And that's sort of right. <laughs> that's three months. Um, Michael, finishing up my half year beard, ready for makeover at Beard Brand Conference next month. Hey, dude, let, hey, I'll keep you up on that, Michael. I was hearing about that. I was talking to Eric about that. They got a big conference going on. I'm actually checking that out. It looks fun. Um, I was thinking about bringing, like, speaking of swag, I was thinking about bringing a lot of swag up just to, I don't know, mingle and jingle. So I want to do that. And I, I thought it would be fun. And let me know what you guys think about this. How fun would it be to have, you know how they have like Comic Con every year? I would love to do like a beard con, you know, in Vegas, you know, somewhere, you know, Florida, just somewhere big, LA, get a bunch of beard men, beardsmen, YouTubers, uh, beard companies. It'd be just kind of really cool because you don't have to worry about like VidCon and all their, you know, all their, uh, I don't know, red tape, if you will. This would be more kind of like a laid back gentleman's kind of a thing. Uh, slice of horse right now. I'm working on training my beard to stretch a lay more straight. If I don't comb condition and blow dry, it looks steel wool ball. And that's what happens in that morning. It's like that first, you know, morning time and it just gets all wiry and sticky. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Are you like that beard con idea? That's, I don't know. I think it would be cool to get just a bunch of guys, a bunch of companies, you know, I, and think about this too, right? You're, you're, you know, you, you like beard tube, you like Dan C, uh, you like, um, you know, beard times, uh, with Scott, you know, you got all, you got, uh, lump vision, you got all these guys. How cool would it be to go to their booth, check them out. And then not only that, but you have like, you know, beard brand, you had a bunch of different companies that are out there. Uh, you know, you, uh, what was it? Um, oh, you have Scotch Porter there. Some of the big time companies out there, you know, that are supporting, all of us, you know, I think that would be a really cool, I don't know, beard con, right? <laughs> Fly in for beards. Oh, dude, that's what I'm talking about. Did you guys, did you guys see that fire? What is it? The fire, oh, the, uh, the fire festival that never happened. It would be like that, right? <laughs> uh, dude, I know, right? With beers and look at, that's another thing too, right? How about have that beard con? And then on top of that, have like beer companies, beer, you know, I don't know, Coors, Bud Light, I know, we're kind of getting off subject, right? <laughs> BeardCon 2019. Well, think about this, all right? If you guys can, look at your calendar. Please tell me what November 1st lies on, right? I think it's like like a Thursday or a Friday. How cool would that be that every November, that month of November goes from, <laughs> from like whatever it is, it starts on a Friday and ends either on a Monday or a Tuesday, you know, a Sunday or a Monday. That way it's just, it's the weekend. You don't got to worry about work, school, or anything like that. Just be a fun weekend to do. All right, let's get back to the comments. Sorry, yours. Um, this will be my third year in 10 years. Oh my gosh, Jesse. That's what's up. That's called dedication right there. All right, let's see what mom has got. Quick tip for people who want to focus more on the mustache than beards. Trim the beard. It would be shorter than the mustache. It gives an illusion for a bigger mustache. And that is true, you guys. If you're ever wanting that epic mustache, or if you've got a nice tapered off mustache, if we keep a nice trimmed up Beard, it's really going to emphasize that mustache. That's a good point, Mohammed. I, I really like that. Oh, dude, you guys for sure. I, I mean, everybody would be there. Not only that, like that would be incentive for, like you said, guys, beard. I mean, that's what Vegas is all about, right? Guys, beard, beards, 
girls. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know, right? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no buffering. No buffering. Hopefully, the, hopefully he's come back. I've been at home, brew beer cons and Thursdays and Saturdays. Works great. So you got to tell me about that, Ariel. I've heard a lot of people that do brew beers. Uh, I thought that would be pretty fun to do one day. I just got to – I don't know. Sometimes brewing looks fun, but I just kind of want to do also. Um, I don't know. I like I like the whiskey and the rum. I, I might I might dabble in that. Uh, last one, Paul uh, just picked up the Bossman Bars. Whoa, you got to tell me about this. I uh, really want to try beer brand utility bomb and styling bomb. Okay, the beard. Okay, the the utility bomb I've got. I'm sorry, no. The soap I've got, and then I want to. You got to tell me how uh, the Bossman brand because I gave some of some of my boss mid brand products to a buddy of mine and he absolutely fell in love with it. So let me know how that works or how it goes. Cause that seems like a good product. All right. So I think we kind of talked about goals here a little bit of just, you know, what you need to do to achieve, you know, good beardness, but let's, yeah, let's, you guys want to do swag first or you guys want to do a giveaway? Cause we got, we got 19 people. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we'll do, I don't know. Let's take it. Let's take take a sip of soda first. Thanks, Paul. All right. <laughs> All right. So here's how we're gonna do the giveaway. All right. Um. What do you got? How does I gotta I gotta I, I should text Dan about this. How he gives his giveaways. Do you guys want to do a comment? Do you guys want to do? You guys got – it's all to you, man. Oh, I know. I know. It's just the stress. It's the stress because I want to give back to you guys. Let's be real. Um, let me see what kind of sense I've got first. Um, this one's going to be uh, Bay Rum. Pick the first guy here. <laughs> oh, who was the first guy in here, man? That's a good That's a good question. Is that you? <laughs> Jerry, you butthole. That's such a good idea. <laughs> Beards and banjos, what's up, dude? How you doing? Okay, so we got Bay Rum. I don't know, man. If you guys want, maybe just. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. And you're gonna have to be in the states. I screwed up on Instagram with that one. You got to be in the states. I screwed up time. Citrus Fire. All right, this one's a really good one. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Can we do it? Can we do it? No. All right, so we got Citrus Fire. That's a good one. And then I think a couple more. I think I got, I think I got Winter Chill, which is my favorite. Ariel from Albuquerque. That's what's up, right? All right. Next one we got up is Citrus Orange. So we'll do. We got three. We got at least three that we can give away. Um, so I don't know. On three. One, two, three. I don't know. What's what would be fun to do? What should we do? Sounds good. Um, Oh, I know, man. You're all about that chill, dude. It, the ch winter chill, and then I like the um, I like the citrus. I'm just pretty chill. All right, let's do this. Let's everyone pick a number. I'm gonna pick a number between one and one hundred. I'm gonna write it down here. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna write it down on my hand here. Come on, you guys. I got this. I got this. I got this. Let's see if it works, though, right? All right, pick a number between 1 and 100. Go! 27, 45, 73, 37, 52. Oh, crap, we got a close one. 36, 1 through 20, 52. Oh, crap. We can't have doubles. I like this. I like where we're going. Okay, okay, you guys ready? How do you guys guess all these good numbers? All right, in 3, 2, one, you can't, you can't do it twice. <laughs> I gotta say, I th well, I think it's backwards. It's fifty-one. Oh, slice the horse! I don't know. Slice the horse came out of nowhere. Oh no! <laughs> How did you catch that one? I was gonna be Lisa and, and Jason, but you got it, Slice. I think Slice got it on that one. <laughs> That's it, fifty-one. Oh, did you guys, did you guys see? Cheaters. You guys are all a bunch of cheaters. All right. All right, Slice. You tell me what you want. I got that uh, Bay Rum. I got the Slice. Uh, what was it? The 
I got the citrus, and then I got the um, the other one. <laughs> Give it to Lisa. <laughs> that's up to you, man. That's up to you guys. That's that's all up to you. <laughs> all right. So giveaway number one is already done. All right. We do get one guess, but Slice came out of nowhere. I did Slice do? I didn't see him do another. I didn't see him do another post. So I don't know. All right. All right. It's done. All right, it's Lisa and Jason's, I guess, right? You guys got to give it to them, right? So, Lisa and Jason, give me a give me a, a DM in my Instagram. Put your I don't know, put your address in there, and I'll send it to you guys on Monday. So now that we got one down, we're gonna get two more done. So that being said, I think we should start diving in. Well, do you, okay. I know. Okay, here, I know that's right, but like. That's where the price is right comes in. You know, you got to play those price or pr price is right kind of games and rules. Yeah, Chris, but if I do that, that's like, that's very vague in the numbers system. <laughs> yeah, Slice is a cool dude, man. All right. Let's do it. Let's pick out the first piece of swag in the beard brand bag. All right. All right. All right. The first one up. Oh, you got it. Lisa and Jason, you got it, man. That's all up to you guys. I appreciate your comments, too, by the way, you guys. I always appreciate your comments. I read them all, too, by the way. So if you guys are up here on the con you know, um, on the chat, like, I see all, you know, Ariel, Lisa, and J you know, I Slice, I see all you guys on the comments on the video. So I really appreciate that. And thanks for the like, too, you guys. I see those likes coming up. Um, all right. So this one's probably going to be for Dan C, because I know Mr. Dan C likes his hats. And I got to say, Beard Brand, and he's, he's probably shown a bunch of them, but Beard Brand came out with a nice, cool hat. I chose the gold one. There was a silver. But for some reason, if I win the, I don't know if I want to give away the swag bag, though. That's the problem, Slice. Is that what you're waiting for? <laughs> oh, man. But, dude, I'm telling you, I mean, I'm not, listen, I, I can't, I can't compare with Dan. Dan's got the look. He's got the hat. He's got the long ass beard. I mean, he's just, he's got it all. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is, right? But no, it's, it's a good hat. One thing I remember Beard Brand hooking me up with was a bunch of swag earlier when my, when I did reviews for them and they came out with a really, yeah, it wasn't, it was a shirt, but like it wasn't the best shirt. I think they adjusted some stuff, and this is like a really sick hat. I mean, the bill, the fit, and the nice thing too is I really like the plastic versus the the sleeve, the sleeve. Um, yo, it's Shadow from Twitch. Oh gosh, Shadow. Oh my gosh, Twitch. Um. Keep that for yourself. Oh, they, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, I don't know, man. I, I really like the bill. It's a good hat. I think I'm going to be wearing it more often. So snapbacks are nice. I do agree. Slice. Flex fits are cool, but I got a big old head, man. Look at this sucker, dude. This sucker is a moon sucker. Okay, so that's the first one on the swag bag. I got too much crap here. All right, second one up. Okay, tell me what you guys think of this, okay? Honestly, I haven't, let's be real, and I haven't done this yet. The spray, okay? I got the Temple Smoke spray, all right? I was skeptical, and I still haven't used it yet. Storm, I've invaded YouTube. Of course you have. Um... I don't see what yeah, I don't get this man. It's all right, Jared. I just had a look something. Yeah, okay, so this is a sea salt spray, and I think this is kind of like, you know, your midday, you know, spray that you just get in. I think I'm gonna use it right now. Let's just give a little. Yeah, it's got some spray action going on. It made your face face itch. Now I'm smelling it, and I smell the sea salt. It smells pretty good. All right, Aaron. 
What's up, Aaron, by the way? What's up, guys? Everybody, by the way, who's just coming on. I'm seeing the influx of viewership. Julian, what's going on? Hey, Scott, I don't usually write, but I'm regular on your channel. First time live, though. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Mr. Gold, what's up? I know, I don't usually live stream, and I just got everything done, so everybody who's coming out so far, I appreciate it. we got a couple more giveaways going on. When is the Twitch stream coming back? Storm, it's coming back. I just got to get people from the YouTube into the Twitch, you know. Paul, what's going on? Heading to work. Scott, all your beard brothers have fantastic and great bearded day. Peace, Paul. Thanks for coming by. Now, the sprays, okay? Really? Okay, so that's interesting to say. So I need an – do you guys think I should use a spray with or without a comb? That's the question. Ariel, I will get on Twitch just for you, Scott. Thank you, buddy. Um, really? Using your hair, your beard is thick, so you don't really need the soy salt spray. Beards and banjos. That's weird. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of beard application. Let's. We're just going to go around. Now, first, straight off the bat, I like the spray, how it's very nice in just a little bit. Let's work in the spray. Do you ship to Europe? Sorry, buddy. I don't. I'm sorry. Okay. I see what's going on. I felt a little itchy patch back here, so I understand that. But the smell is awesome. I do like the smell. Nico, what's up? What's up? Hey, buddy. It's good to see you back, man. The Temple Smoke Utility Bomb smells awesome. Okay, Chris. So that's, I think, the whole setting is that I have the smell of the Temple Smoke from uh, the bomb and the oil, and I, like I said, I like how it's a mini sprayer. But it smells great too. And so I'm getting a nice finish on my beard. It's creating a nice fluff. I don't know, I like it. Oh, with a comb. But then I gotta leave, I gotta get it. Did I bring it with me? I don't think I did. I left my comb in my, I left my comb in my, my bathroom. The hand works. Okay, so you guys are recommending you guys are recommending that the sea salt spray is awesome up in the hair. Okay, let's. I'm doing this for you guys. Wow, I gotta admit that's pretty nice. Let's do that front. So, Errol, I don't think you have to really necessarily wash it off. I think it's more like a, just a base or an outside coating of the beard and the hair, but man, that, that smells really nice. So that was the next one in the bag, all right? So the sea salt spray was pretty cool. And you know, I'm gonna give it like a nine, eight out of 10, I like it. Okay. Next, up, I'm telling you guys, I feel I feel like Mary Poppins when she reaches into the bag and, and like, watch, see if I put it right here, going down and then like I reach more, I get more. All right, the next one up we got is, ah, the utility bar. We were talking about this earlier. Now, I have heard great things with the utility bar. And I actually talked to Eric himself about this. And he said, this was probably one of the biggest pains in the butt to get this thing done. He said it was just a really tough thing to get done. Okay, so, Ariel, I, I understand what you're trying to say with, like, washing it off. I think it's just like any product, though. Like, if it's a gel or a balm, you're going to have to probably wash it off at the end of the day. Or if you do sleep in with it, it's going to be, like, extra sticky. Wow. Okay, so this is this is the uh, utility bar. And I talked to Eric, and he was talking about this can be used for everything. Like, the hair, the beard. Yeah, the utility bar, right? Yeah, spelt backwards if that's, like, not going on with you. It's going on with me. But, yeah, it's it, it, exactly, Julian. It's more for styling uh, than the moisturizer. I, I, I know what you mean by that. But, yeah, so I'm getting definitely, like, a wood uh, temple smoke smell. This one's a pr – I really want to use this. I, I've used a lot of utility bars, and I don't know. Just as long as it moisturizes the skin. It's all at once. Yeah, beards. I mean, for I mean, we sat down and talked. Okay, I'm not. No, what are we in? Are we in March? We're in March. Just let me let me look at this. Beard Brand's got a new 
I'm not going to I'm not going to spoil it, but Beer Brand's got a new product coming out and yeah, and it's because of me. It's all because of me, guys. So, I want you got let, Hold on, let's just let me just check. Let me check if it's out yet. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's oh. No, nope, it's not out yet. Can't say can't say anything. So, once it does come out, I will let you guys know. Had a big influence on that i told eric that he needed to get it done he got it done i'm telling you guys so i'm gonna give this a try let me know what you guys okay so when you guys use a utility bar do you guys usually use it on the hair do you guys put it into the beard or mustache so i'm gonna ask you guys a big question when you guys are washing your beards okay do you guys when you're co-washing do you like to take any of the shampoo that you're washing in and then take and then putting into your beard or do you guys like to take your own shampoo, your own conditioner for your beard for that? What do you guys like to do to incorporate your washing techniques? Because I really, I think that's a big thing at the end of the day uh, with that beard. Because if you don't have, if, if you use, if you, if you use a hair shampoo and put it in your beard, it's really going to like dry it out, you know, because the hair is definitely different than the beard. Um, hey, what's up, Scrogeners? What's going on, man? Uh, I, I use beard shampoo. Uh, what? Mr. Golden, you don't wash your beard with shampoo? Please, what are you washing with your beard? Because I want to know. If you're not using a bomb, uh, a bomb, if you're not using a bar, Martin Hughes in the house. What's up, Martin? You got to, okay, I'll give you guys a great example, okay? I was having a really tough time with my beard just being just being really fray okay for the past month and it wasn't until it wasn't until a month ago i started using heavy beard shampoo rocking it in working it in and finally my beard hair started becoming really elastic you know elastic like had a lot, a lot of elasticity in it and i think that's important when you're pulling your beard lots of beers can uh, come out and i think that's really it's important you know, really important to put that conditioner, that shampoo in your beard because it's going to really strengthen those follicles. And I, I like to, if I don't have, if I'm at someone else's house and I don't have beard shampoo, I'll totally do a co-wash. I mean, that it just works. Um, Steven, what's up, man? Uh, own for the top, beard safe for the beard. Um, don't know that one. Oh, own for the top, beard safe for the beard. Hmm. I personally use the bar on the beard. First, and then what's left I use on the hair. And I think that's the cool part. Just work it in, bring it on top. I totally agree. And co-washing is great. I think this is a, you know, we get so used to what we have in our closets, in our, I don't know, what you would call it, our bathrooms. It's really nice to be able to, like, work with what you got. And then if you can still have a great-looking beard without those products, the, to the tools, you know, you know, you know what you got. So that was the Temple Smoke utility bar so that was it one day bar for the beard and hair the other day softener and conditioner and you know what julian i totally agree with you on that one you gotta you gotta go vice versa you don't want to do too much all the time because you're gonna i don't know your beard doesn't need that much your beard needs to create its own oils okay what else do we got we got like a couple more i think let's do the small one. Oh, 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 okay all right Old money mustache wax. I have been waiting a long time to try out old money. Still haven't tried it yet. And not only that, I haven't tried a mustache wax from Beard Brand. Don't know why. Just haven't. Ha I. You know, when you find a great product for a mustache wax, you kind of stick with it. So I might throw some in right now. I don't know. Or do I get? Oh, holy crap! They come in threes. Did you guys know this? Do I need to do another? Okay, so I technically might have four gift. All right, all right, all right. It's time, guys. Clean your hand, exactly. <laughs> all right, let's do. Okay, it's on the back of my hand. All right, everybody. Pick a number from one 
to 100, all right? We're going to give away either a wax or an oil, all right? I got three of these guys, okay? So one, two, three, go for it, all right? Let's see some numbers. Let's see some numbers. I already got it written down right here. 47, 22, 10, 37, 56, 150. 150? Math? Come on. That's not 100. <laughs> We got some close ones. We got some close ones. I got one close one here. Oh, I got another close one. All right, we're going to close it out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 99. Can you guys see it? It's 75. Negative zero. You fart. You guys are hilarious. So it looks like Aaron uh, can won that one, all right? So like I said, if you guys won in today's contest, I'm really just either go instant, you know, go direct message me on Instagram, put the your address in there, and I'll ship it over to you guys. Please be uh, you know, in the States, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, congrats, Aaron. You got it, man. 75. Sorry, cooking. Have it. Steven, what's up, man? Sorry, cooking. Have long hair at the moment and use the personal shampoo and conditioner for the hair and special beard shampoo. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to intermingle the beard shampoo and conditioner with the beard hair and shampoo. All right. So we got, I'm setting aside all these giveaways for you guys. All right. So congrats, Aaron. You got it, buddy. All right, last one on the swag bag. Maybe I should do this for every stream, right? Just come in with the bag. I'll have about like five or seven. You know, no, I like this. We'll put like five or ten different products in, and we'll just give them away, all right? Ship yourself back to Twitch. Stop it, Storm. Stop it. <laughs> all right, last one. Oh, this is what I was all about, you guys. All right. So they hooked me up with Old Money Beard Oil. So uh, I, I definitely want to check out the oil. Um, let's do double. Let's do a little bit of the beard, uh, of the mustache wax, and then let's do some of the Old Money uh, Beard Oil. So let's start off with, let's put this over on the giveaway. So that way we get giveaways. We got one more. I don't know, Ariel. I haven't tried the Old Money yet. So I, I, I do want to give it a shot. So let's see what we get here. We already got a little bit exposed. And if you guys, you know, get your get your cocaine uh, nail that you use. I use my index finger for my cocaine that I use. And then we want just a little bit. We're going to scrape off some mustache wax. Yeah, Julian, if, that, if that's what it is, I mean, so straight off the bat, I like the mustache wax because it's not super dense. It melted right away in my fingers. Let's see. Ooh, it smells good, man. It does It does smell like old money. Honestly, let's be real. It smells like you went into a 1980s accountant's office with all the wood paneling going on, right? Right? You go in, you're in, you're with your dad. You got your old, you got your old, what is it? Your uh, Burger King, Happy Meal, whatever it is. Wow, that's actually really nice. And obviously, if you want to, guys, you can use it as a like a chat six style. Hot dang, man! I gotta give it to him. That old money is legit. Give away your glasses. Then I can't see. I can't see. Come on, Storm. Slice, I see that. You take that old money or the new. Yeah, no joke on that one, huh? You know, beer brand. You know, there was a big controversy with them about six to eight months ago. There was a ah, someone posted about, you know, is beer brand, uh, pre, you know, is there really a premium beer brand? And you know what? That's that's where it comes up to you guys. This is this is where, you know, this is where Dan C comes in. Dan C comes in and does reviews about, you know, drugstore oils, you know, really generic oils, and then he goes all the way up to beer brand. And that's where it comes up to you guys, right? What what kind of brand do you, or what kind of company do you want to associate yourself with? And that's okay if it's one company or multiple companies. Like for me, 
I've got three that I, I mean, that I just stick with. And one, it's Artius. Two, it's Live Bearded. And uh, three, it's going to be Bossman Brand. Like, those are my three go-tos. I Listen, I like everybody else out there. But just for consistency, for product and, and smells, it's, that's where I bring up beer brand. Yes, it can be a premium brand, but it's what you if, – if, if you like old money, right, if you like this, and you're going to pay for it, right? That's what you're going to get. If you like Artius Man, you're going to pay for an Artius Man, you know, style oil. That's just – it's just how it is. And so it's whatever you guys want. Um, what's to give away your sunglasses? I mean, my glasses. Come on. Come on. That blast. <laughs> How do you know about the Blackhawk slice? How do you know about this Blackhawk? <laughs> uh, all right, so so let's get all right. Let's ask you guys. I want to know what your top favorite three brands are of products. Okay, I want you guys to tell me. It can be um, I don't know. Give give me something. It could be uh, well, what is it? it? Could be Scotch Porter. Could be Beard Brand. Tell me something that you guys like as a company. And uh, just it could be one company, it could be two companies, it could be three companies. What's your go-to company that you guys like? Viking's cool. I mean, Seven Potions is good. You know, the, these are some big-time companies, and they do have good products. New to this dog. <laughs> Haven't heard of Captain Fawcett. That's interesting. Captain Fawcett. I don't know if that's a pun or joke. Chesapeake is a good company. I like them too as well. Kingsman is a good company, Jerry. I totally agree. What's up, too, if I haven't said hey, by the way? Once again, hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you guys for coming out here and hanging out with me. Looks like we got about 10, 20 minutes left of the stream. I got one more giveaway to do, maybe two. It's hard to get consistency in beard products. That's for sure, Matthew. That's definitely for sure. But even beer up here in Canada is pretty awesome as well. They are a good company as well, too. There's a lot of beer companies. Uh, Barber Mountain, check this out, too. Barber Mountain Hair Co., I believe, is a good company as well. I did some videos for them on their site as well. So, I don't know. Uh, check out what you guys like. Um, so, you guys want to do let's, do, let's do one more giveaway, all right? I think we might be wrapping up this stream. I don't know. I think, I don't know, people are kind of bashing out and kind of digging out so um let's do let's do one more giveaway i'm gonna do what's okay i got i got one more number i'm gonna do think of a number guys we got one more number we're gonna do it okay so last time was 75 philly what's up dude we're doing a little giveaway right here get your numbers ready guys get your numbers ready get your numbers ready this one's gonna be pretty epic all right all right, so I think we got two. We got Aaron, we've got Lisa and Jason for two. So one to 100, guys. We're going to keep this consistent. From one to 100, make your guess. Let's go. All right, I already see I already see one person. Okay, and make sure you're in the States. Come on. Storm Knight, you're, you're, you're disqualified, okay? You're already done. Yeah, you already. <laughs> Crap. All right, guys, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, 99, you guys, 99. Looks like Julian got it, all right? Julian, congratulations. There it is, 99. What the hell happened there? I can't believe it. This is crazy. So congratulations, Julian. If you can't, go check me out on Instagram. Put me in on the DMs, your address. From where you live, and I will ship you guys. So, um, I think I got one more. Let me check if I got this. Let me check if I got Winter Chill. I got Spice Latte. Let me check if I got one more. I got one more. One more, you guys. Let's check this out. And I haven't had this one yet. So, come on. It's coffee. There it is. Haven't tried coffee yet. That'll be interesting. <laughs> I didn't think I would win. Well, good guess, Julian. You made a good guess. <laughs> so, so far, you guys, we're doing a really good job. 
Beards and beards and banjos. You want the coffee, huh? Well, go go DM me on Instagram. Make it happen. So, out of all out of all of the things that you guys saw today, what was your favorite? What was your favorite thing that you guys liked out of the wax? Because I gotta save. Hold on, let me, I got two. I gotta save. So this one, because I gotta save some for the giveaway here. You got the wax. I got the hat. I got the spray. <laughs> I saw I saw the coolest thing. Have you guys seen this? Um, it's a it's a it's a it's a coffee mug, and inside the coffee mug, there's a mustache holder. So when you're drinking it, there's a little stopper right here. So when you drink your <laughs> your coffee, it doesn't get into your mustache. And that's for me. That's the worst. I don't know about you guys, but having that, just drinking something like here's a good example, right? Let me get my soda out. You coming in? You're and if you drink too much, it gets right in that beer. Michael, what's up, man? So how do you how do you use the sea salt spray? <laughs> how do you like to use the sea salt spray? Do you like to use it in the morning? Do you just spray it out throughout the day? What's your go-to kind uh, of situation that you like to do? What do you mean I didn't get it? Coffee can smell like your mustache. Philly, how was it meeting up with Beard Bram? Okay, so it was really cool, man. Now, they're in Austin, Texas, okay? And they've got a really cool setup. I, I was actually thinking about... Oh, man, I could actually show you guys on my phone. They've got a really cool setup. They've got a multi-layer... So they've got two stories. They've got a gazebo area. And then in the back, they have their meeting and production area. Hey, Scott, I like, I'm liking your beard. What's up, Martin? I know. How you doing? Um, I haven't seen my mustache every time. I know, dude. It does. You're drinking things. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. But they they have a really cool facility. In the beginning, where, like, where you walk in, if you guys seen that video where I did the um, uh, going over, you know, your best beard situations with beard brand, we were actually standing in their reception area and that's where they have like the congregation. They are able to eat there and then you're able to go up outside upstairs. And then on top, that's where they do all their social media. They do all their computers. They do everything. They do market research. They do have all the products up there. That's where their main like hub is. And then you go downstairs across the gazebo uh, into the back lot. Whoa. They have all their uh, production, you know, where they do the live streams. It's really cool. Um, so Mike says, I like to use it in the morning after the shower, comb the hair, then spray it in very easy to use. All right. So I'm going to give that a try, Michael. And you know what, what I'll do is maybe I'll make a video about the spray on its own. So maybe I'll do a, a you know, bearded spray. I don't know. Slice. Hey, thanks, man. I'm, tr I'm trying to keep you guys entertained. I know we're going to, uh, we got about 10, 15 more. Uh, we got about 10 minutes left until we're going to be done here. Um, I just kind of want to keep it on the hour, but man, I just, I want to keep doing these things for you guys, especially for the giveaways. And I know I'm talking really fast, but at the same time, I just kind of want to chill with you guys. It's Saturday and I want to keep these guys uh, consistent. So I don't know if there's certain days for you guys, but I think Saturday, midday afternoon, everybody's just kind of having a drink. Everybody's kind of having a smoke, you know, eating their corn dogs, hot dogs. You know, this is, I thought would be a fun time. Yeah, Philly, you know what? I had a conversation with him about that mustache situation. And we talked about that a lot. And to tell you the truth, his beard has come into just a big hole. You know, because you got to, I, I, I always forget about age. You know, when you're growing out your beard, with age comes such a big deal. Let's be real. I mean, from the time I was 30 or 28 to 33, my beard just went crazy. It just went absolutely crazy. And I think that's for everybody that gets, you know, a hindrance. Beards just go through a journey from start to finish. I'm still going through stuff, you know, like right now I'm getting so much girth in my sideburns that I'm not used to. It's like, I've got to fade every 10 seconds. But yeah, Matt, I would give, you know what? I would give beard band. A, my God, I can't talk tonight. I'm talking too fast. I would give beard brand a try. I like their products, man. Although, like, Arteus, they give me the hookups. They give me the links. They give me the, you know, they give me the promos. Beer Brand's got a great product. And not only that, 
they're great people. So I was thinking either I, I might follow this up with Monday for you guys that you've been watching. Good, Ariel. I like to hear that, man. Yeah, just something to listen to. Hey, exactly, man. That's what I love about live streams, too. I do the same thing on Twitch. I just like putting something on in the background, even if you're not paying, paying attention. It's just something to listen to that you can comment on or just, you know, I don't know, just watch. Oh, shut up, dude. Hi, my name is Daniel. Oh, you have a mustache. <laughs> What's up, Dan? How you doing, dude? So that's what I'm thinking about doing on Monday is either doing just a review on Beard Brand itself, just their backstage and how they were working. Uh, just, I don't know, maybe I can give away some more, I don't know, mustache wax or something. But Dan, hey, by the way, dude, I want to give, I just want to say thanks. Um, I, I really struggle with pushing myself and like doing the live streams about six months. Dan, this is to all you guys too that are just listening. About six months to a year ago, I was pushing live stream really hard on Twitch. And then, um, nah, I wasn't getting too much. I'm not the best gamer in the world. I like just kind of chit-chat and hang out with you guys. But on YouTube, uh, going through OBS was kind of a challenge and setting up their, uh, you know, their notification goals and all that stuff. You know, watching Dan and everybody else doing their live streams the way they do it, I just, I, I, I just wanted to start over again. And I thought this was a great way to start. And with, dude, I'm, I, <laughs> hey Dan, and like that, that's the thing, dude. Like Dan does a great job and what he does, and I like to see what successful people do. This is, uh, I, I talked about this in that stream. I mean, you guys, you guys show me in your comments, you know, and what, like even your, you know, I don't know, even in Instagram, I see you guys progress and it makes me happy because that's what we all want to do. We all want to, you know, progress and whatever it is. So it's, it's good stuff, man. Uh, well, I've been using uh, baloney, what is it, baloney therapy? So the, the couple things that I want to do, I'm trying to like do a transform of like my body and like my structure. And I think with my beard too is um, it's vitamin. I'm trying to do vitamin B12, vitamin D, vitamin C and omega 12s. I'm trying to implement that in my diet. That way I can get a thicker um, and, and not coarser. If you eat the right vitamins and vegetables, you actually can have a better I don't know, better complexion in your hair, your skin, your hair. And I want to do that. I want to start seeing if by eating better, using better nutrition can, um, you know, help strengthen and, and, you know, and I don't know, make your beard thick and better. No, you're the man, Dan. Dude, so many goals, right? You know, we were talking about earlier about what goals that we all have as beardsmen. And for me, I like... I like to set these things, and once I get them, I like to either go for different ones or try longer goals. So if you guys reach that point where you're at that maximum length, have a new goal, right? So it's either I'm going to trim it off and I'm going to go for a new shape, or it's I went to that goal, now I'm going to go even longer. So those are different situations in those goals, and that's a great topic to bring up. Dan, thank you for being a good wingman. I really appreciate that. Ariel's got a good point. Just do B complex vitamins. You get all the good B supplements. And I think this is for every guy out there. I mean, I'm even getting into my 30s right now. And in my back end of my 30s, testosterone goes down. These are things that we all got to look out for as growing older and what things that we can do, taking in protein shakes. You know, I know it's I know this is kind of like a subset of different things, but all these things can matter for us you know, to achieve, you know, either it's muscle mass or testosterone, you know, better complexion, better hair, you know, beard growth. That's what it's all up to. <laughs> Keep that DHT up, baby. That's it. That's it. That DHT, the THC, the DMT, all that stuff, right? <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I've tried DHT. Uh, I've tried, um, what's that? I've tried good, oh, I've tried sleeping pills, you know, that Amazon offers, those, um, Oh, what is it? Like those herbal stuff? Anything that can make, I don't know, anything that can make complexion, uh, I don't know, yourself better. I'm all about it. Um, Let's see. So, oh, Dan, by the way, dude, just since you're in, I just had to throw this out here, bro. I mean, I ain't, I ain't as pimp looking as you, but what we got to do, and I think I saw you on your last stream, you had these like cool, I don't know if it was like a logo or if you had a pin that you can attach to the hat, 
But if you got one, I'm gonna buy one from you, dude. Because I mean, like, I'm telling you, bro, I'm not, I'm not copying you. This was just in the swag bag. Because I'm not a big hat person. I got one hat that I've had for 10 years that I normally wear. But I thought about you when I got this, and I was like, yeah, I think Dan would appreciate these kinds of these kinds of qualities of products. But if you got that, if you got that, I don't know, what is it like a pin? Or something on that because I saw you on your last stream. You got a cool logo that you got going on, buddy. <laughs> That's what I said. Snap is back, dude. I'm all. I like Flex Fit, but I got a big old dome, and so the Flex Fit. They. I don't know, man. It's either too big or too small, and so like when I cut my hair, it's too too big, and then when I grow it out, it's too small, and I get the headache. You know. <laughs> Uh, is it still okay to chat even though I'm in the UK? This chat is for every race, every ethnicity, every gender, everybody, you guys. This is a fun stream. So all in all, I have to say the, I don't know, I think I think the surpriser was the sea salt spray. I mean, now if anybody who's used the sea salt spray how long does it normally last and how much spray do you use and how often do you use it? Because I like it as a cologne too as well. So as I'm like walking in or doing something, I can have a little bit of product that I can shoot in my beard versus pulling out that. See, and that's, let's be real, right? That's, let me, let me pull out something I can use. So that's a good example, right? If you have an oil, you're going in, you put some oil on, you're rubbing it in the beard. You got all that crap. You got to rub it off versus I like the fact that you just do a little spray, even though you can it's still not on the hands. I like that a lot. Lasted me all day yesterday. Huh? Oh, all right. All right. So and see the last thing I have to give beer brand a nod is the quantity that they give you. You know, they do. I mean, even the beer, I don't have the beard bomb here. But their beard bomb, they give you like, what is this? They give you like a three ounce beard bomb, and that'll last you for a long time. Um, about six spritz for me lasts all day. All right, Michael. All right, that's good to know. Um, has anyone else said they hate your beard? All, a lot of beard haters nowadays. I got, you know what's funny that you say that? I got one guy that comments on me all the time. I'm not going to say his name. <laughs> no, I don't. Now nah, you know what? That's the whole thing with YouTube, man. You always get one or two guys that hate or tell you what to do. But that's just that's just what people. Everybody's gonna tell you how to comb it, how to trim it, how to shave it, how to do it. That's why I always say it. That's why Dan always says it. It's what works for you, man. Some people have short beards. Some people have thin beards. Some people don't have beards at all and just have a little bit of a mustache. Rock that, you know. I, I knocked on Jack for a long time because he, you know, he had trouble growing out his beard. You know, that, I, that's what I did. That's not to say that it's right, but people are going to do it. That shouldn't hinder what he, that's what I'm saying. That's a great example. I was knocking on him, but it didn't hinder, right? It didn't hinder what his goal was. And so I guess, because we got about five minutes left, we're coming up to about five o'clock. I think that's what the whole premise of what his beard accomplishment was and this channel and this, not channel, but this video is about is that goal set. Because if you don't have that goal set, you're not going to go, you know, achieve those things. You're not going to be able to, you know, strive for those things. And that's why I like to have a, um, an achievement. You know, it's just like playing a PlayStation 2 game. You know, you got to collect all those things. If it takes you a week, a month, you're going to do it. You know, and once you get it, it's a great feeling. It's a great thing. People like to see it. Um, I've used a sea salt spray, but only in my hair. Inter this is interesting. I don't like the crispy dry feeling in my beard. Everyone should do what works for them. Okay. So after doing about two or three sprays, I don't feel too much crispiness. Maybe I haven't used a lot, but actually I do feel up. Um, okay. Hold on. Okay. That was the last. So I think total. Ah, I see now, you guys. All right. Yeah, Philly. Jack, all those guys over there are probably some of those confident guys I've ever met. Like I said, I think that's probably what I'm going to do, Philly, for my Monday my Monday video is doing a recap of being over at Beard Brand, like Beard Brand. I don't know. I'm always about the title. 
Dan, are you about that? I think about the title like all the freaking time. But uh, not only are they confident, but they 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 are on the next they're on the next step. Like six months ago, they were like, "Oh yeah, we were just using the phone on the stream. We didn't even have a screen." And then when I walked in there, they've got mics, they've got lights, they've got an administrator. They've got the screen. They've got the comment section up. I mean, they do it right. Okay, Aaron, you bring a great point. So I don't know about a lot of you, but Dan can say this. I can say this. My wife can say this. You, I hope you guys too can see this, that, man, when your wife gives you that, like, man, your beer's looking good. I really like it. Don't shave it off. That, that should give you motivation, let alone on its own, because... What's not to have your wife's support to have a great look at Maine, a mustache, because our wives know that it, I mean, I don't even, I don't even know what a lot of these guys look like without their beard. Cause without it, it just, it just gives us a, whoever it is. It just gives us a significant look of who we are. Um, half, <laughs> um, to your lady personality invested. Yeah, Exactly. Your lady is your personality. She is invested into it. So the longest I've done my beard, I think, was probably the first time I grew out my beard. I gave it about eight months. And I actually could get – so if I grow it down to here, this is probably about an eight-month growth. And that's actually probably where Dan is right now. Dan Dan keeps his beard nice and low. He actually did a great trim too, which I tried – not I tried, but I, I, I did today – I cleaned up the bottom portion of this this neckline where I probably can just trim up a little more here. But I'm trying to bring down, and Dan knows what I'm talking about, I'm trying to bring down my uh, my jawline a little bit here so I can get a nice lay. Not to say, like I said, I'm copying Dan, but we all want to have a little bit of motivation. And, yes, Dan is my motivator. And uh, But, no, like anybody who you see out there, anything that style that you like, uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to grow this out just a little bit more to have a nice flat square look and have a nice handlebar because I like to have I like to have meat right here on my stash versus a nice tapered off out on the side. I'd rather keep it side like short on the side and nice and girthy in the middle. My wife is not liking it. Walter, what's up? <laughs> my daughter. Hey, that's funny too though. You say Walter, the kids love it, man. The kids. I mean, if I shaved off my beard and mustache. Nah, they they give me the middle finger. They'd be like, "What are you doing? You're terrible." Uh, Nicholas, what's up, man? Thanks for the support from Paris. Ah, uh, it's very great, very great. As terrible as petty accent that was, Nico. That's good to hear. We want family support. Seriously, Dan, your jaw grows the fastest. That's crazy. So I'm constantly trimming that hot corner. Okay, so I can see that my corner is the hot spot. Obviously, this doesn't grow as much. But my problem is, see, look at we can all be experienced beard growers. But my problem is, is this angle that I get. I need to grow this out a little more, and I need to stop dipping down my uh, clippers as I go in. So these are things that we all need to learn as we trim. Philly, you should try and grow your hair long, like down to your shoulders. I did that one time. I don't think I'll ever do that again. It's not my style, man. I just, I tried it. It's not, my, it's not my look. I think if anything right now, I'm going to, this is probably like a four or five. I'm going to bring it down to like a three. If anything, I, I like the length on the top right now, but man, I, I don't think I could do it ever again. I know Ariel, you bring up a good point. That collared shirt. And I don't know about you guys that have this problem when you look down Sometimes the beard hits, and then you get that crinkly effect. No fun. Okay, let's see. The under corner gives it depth from the side, and you cut too much, and you have a little gap in the beard in the neck. All right, man. I'm going to take that into consideration, okay, because the next time I do, this should be down here, and instead of angling it down, I'm going to try to just go straight across, like you said. Oh, Justin, North Cal. What's up, dude? That's my home roots right there, North Cal. Uh, you trim and cut great, Scott. Thanks, Justin. I appreciate it, man. Oh, I appreciate that too, dude. Now, my my beards are here to help you out. Um, Christian, what's going on, dude? Hope you guys are having a good time. <laughs> Dan, I obviously see what you're talking about 
with your live streams, dude, when they take you over, because obviously we got a good we got a good vibe going. But looks like we reached that hour. Let's see, bald and bearded and long hair and bearded is good look, but it depends on the person. I agree, Philly. It all, it all really understands. It does come down to the person and how they want to look. Uh, I, Nico, I would always consider uh, Barber College. If everything just went to crap and I didn't have everything else, yes, I would go to Barber College, you know? <sighs> now, Christian, it's good to see you too. It's always impossible. You guys, it's always impossible. But like I said, um, with goals, reviews, and giveaways, who do we have? We had uh, Jason and Lisa. Who, who else we had? We had... Um, Oh, my God, my brain's going bad. We had Jason and Lisa. I think we had um, – oh, my God, I think we had Slice. I think Jesse – or Julian, excuse me. And then Lisa and um, – oh, God. we uh, You winners, go just direct message me on Instagram. Dan, you got to – maybe I'll text you later. Let me know how you do your giveaways uh, to make it a little easier for you guys, all right? Um. I like my beard warm. Uh, before I let you guys go, I do too. If you get that hair dryer and you leave it in there for a little while, you let it off and your beard stays warm, there's nothing better. So to you guys, all right, please do, Dan. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll get that going too. So thanks for letting me go on over all the beard brand stuff uh, for you guys with the Artius uh, giveaways. Um, yeah, definitely, Julian. Go over on Instagram. Uh, I'll post everything when this video is over on the link so that way you guys got something. Um, guys, thank you so much for coming over the live stream. So let's keep it consistent with Saturdays, uh, around two o'clock. We'll keep it and, uh, love you guys like always. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Ariel, Nico, Dan, uh, Martin, Bliss, all you guys, Doug, love you guys. I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya.